Thank you for watching the Fitness Feuds channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. Last Tuesday, I was hospitalized in critical condition under 24-hour surveillance for renal kidney failure for five days. My creatine level was 10, and my blood urea nitrogen was 164. They wanted to do hemodialysis ASAP. I refused. My body broke down. Bad high blood pressure for a decade, dehydration from working long days and nights, long periods of not eating because of work, and just not taking care of myself. Basically I've been literally killing myself slowly. I've been very aware of it, but I'm a workaholic. Even in critical care in the hospital, I was still working. I had 12 clients competing this past weekend. I still prepped my clients to one IFBB Pro win, and a third place finish at the same show. My NPC clients also had 5 class wins, and everyone was at their very best at their shows. I won't stop winning. Winning is what keeps me going and is who I am. That'll never stop. I might have been given a bad break getting sick, but you live by the sword you die by the sword, period. No regrets. I've lived a great life and I've been blessed to experience both pain and happiness. Both were important to have, in order to appreciate the hard work I've put in to be the man I am today. To understand the mentality of bodybuilders today, all we need to do is listen to Dave Palombo interview professional athlete, Fakri Mubarik, about his run-in with kidney failure, and the need for dialysis. Fakri's blood pressure was high enough to warrant a heart attack at any moment. This joker is lucky to be alive. Well, I have high blood pressure, and that's, you know, that I never took care of, which I should have, and that's the most important part of it. How high? How high? Yeah. <laughs> when I checked into the hospital, um, it was 220 over 140 over 150. Oh my God. That's hot. But how high was your blood pressure like, dirty, like on a normal basis before all this happened? Okay, so I mean, usually I'm like about 170 over 110. Okay, now do you take blood pressure medication? Okay, so you know, I have taken them in the past. Um, you know, being a knucklehead and, 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 and you know, you come off of them, you forget about them. You know, you feel like you're Superman, Dave. You know, we're bodybuilders. Nothing affects it, you know, so I didn't think it was, you know, that much of a big deal. Like, but now they come back and they're like, dude, you're like in CC unit now. You, dialysis, now. No, really? Yeah, so, so I'm like, what the fuck is going on here with like the last couple of hours? Right. So you, they put you on, did they, di did they put you on dialysis? No, I refused it, so... What Fakri refused, just might be needed to save his life in the future. We all know that bodybuilders get heart attacks, but kidney failure is also common, but less talked about. When the kidneys fail, dialysis is needed. Dialysis is the process of using a machine to clean out the blood, when the kidneys can no longer do it properly. High blood pressure is one cause of kidney destruction. But there is now plenty of research which suggests that the high protein diets, hormones, and diuretics can also contribute to renal failure. Take a look at some of this mind-blowing research. In a study called, Complementary Bodybuilding, a potential risk for permanent kidney disease, a total of 25 patients were diagnosed with kidney disease that had developed after entering a bodybuilding program. The end result was that there is increased recognition of association of renal disease in athletes and bodybuilders who use hormones and a high protein diet. The athletes and their trainers should be educated about the health risks of these interventions and need to consult a medical practitioner for screening for any development of kidney disease.
In another study at Columbia University Medical Center titled, Development of FSGS Following Anabolic Hormone Use in Bodybuilders, the researchers proposed that extreme increases in muscle mass require the kidneys to increase their filtration rate, placing harmful levels of stress on these organs. It's also likely that hormones have direct toxic effects on the kidneys. Athletes who use anabolic hormones and the doctors caring for them, need to be aware of the potentially serious risks to the kidney, said Dr. Herlitz. And in yet another study titled, End-Stage Renal Disease in a Bodybuilder, a Multifactorial Process or Simply Doping? Researchers concluded that the use of clenbuterol and anabolic hormones provide a scenario that may increase the risk of renal failure especially in pre-existing kidney diseases. Renal failure due to consumption of, intermittent, high to toxic doses of beta-adrenergic substances and or hormones should be recognized in general. Bodybuilders, usually exposed to forced muscle gain in hypertensive situations, should be considered a high-risk group in particular.